This is a demonstration of importing a drawing from Google Earth and estimating it using exact roofing. Firstly, let's go to Google Earth. Zoom in on the roof to be estimated. We'll need a ruler so we can estimate distance. And now take a screenshot and any screenshot system will do. The Windows screenshot, which can be invoked with Windows logo, Shift S is a good one. Now returning to exact roofing, paste. Now the image needs scaling, we can zoom in. And it is handy to have it on the axis so we can rotate the image. Now it's nicely aligned on the screen. Now we can scale the image. The easiest way is to draw two points, draw from the center of that to the center of that, and that was 11.88 meters, so that's 11,880 millimeters. Now the drawing is scaled and ready to be estimated. Now we'll draw an outline around the building. Just trace around the building. We can trace back or we just go close to start rectangular. Now we have our roofing drawn. Now we could draw the hips and the valleys, but we can also use the skeleton command to automatically try to place them. And this is attempted to place them and this has come up with a solution, which is a good solution, but is not the correct one. So we need to correct this. So we'll delete these lines. Now there are many ways we can draw polylines, but we can easily extend that line to meet that line. So plan, construct, trim extend. And similarly plan, construct, trim extend. So plan, construct, trim extend. Zooming in, plan, construct, Trim extend and we'll trim that back. Now we can draw a polyline down that ridge line, but we don't know how far it's going to go, so we'll just construct one. So we'll go plan, construct, polyline, come to that point, come down vertically, and go construct and finish. Now we have a construction line. So now we can join those up. We could go plan, construct, polyline again. From that point, come up at 45 degrees to meet that line. Next, and now go at, close that off, finish. Now we can trim extend that other line. To meet that line. Now erase that poly line, that is the construction line. And we're ready to roof. Now we don't know the pitch, so returning to the Google Earth and rotating the model, we'll now bring up Exact Protractor and click on the Perspective Protractor and rotate that over the model. Now zoom in, move the protractor and move it over the wall. We'll go to degrees only. And we can see that aligns with 25 degrees. It's a 25 degree pitch roof. Back to exact roofing. Plan new roof area. Click on the eave line. The pitch is 25. It's a shed roof. Height above grade is 2400. We'll say the feet is 400. And the in gutter allowance is 60. We can now select our roofing, our netting, our underlay insulation. 
We can add a batten if required, we won't in this case. We can put bird stops on the eave. We can add a fascia. We can add gutter, gutter type, the barge, and finally that little ridge. And now we've roofed that area. Plan new roof area again. Now it stops us because it's building a 3D model and knows that's the hip. It's asking for the product on the hip. Plan new roof area again. Space bar is a repeat last command. This time it prompts and asks about the valley. Now coming down to this other roof here. And now we have completed our roof. On the left hand side we have a tree diagram which shows the various roofs and their areas. Also allows us to edit the roof. Move to the 3D. And there is a 3D image of our roof. We can rotate. There is our stock, which is our sheets that have been optimized. This is our quote. We just need to add name and address and so forth. So we will just take some dummy names and addresses. Now the summary quote is populated. We have a bill of materials. Zooming in, 221 lineal meters of iron, giving the individual sheets. We have a plan view, so this can be sent with the quote, so you can tell the customer exactly what you're quoting. And various other reports, such as the labor report. In this case, the person's been paid a nominal $1 a square meter. This can all be set up in the database and various other reports. So that in a quick demonstration shows how we can bring in a drawing from Google Earth. We can create a 3D model. We can also place product on the roof with the visual imager module. In this case, the default is green. We can change that to a beige and show the customer exactly what the customer is going to get.